Can you do a burr with only $10,000? Derwin, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, folks, and uh, longtime viewers, you guys know the drill. New viewers, here is the deal. This is your show, the show where I work for you. You get to hire me and my company to work on your behalf, building, expanding, growing your real estate investment portfolio, specifically here in the Cleveland market. Now, uh, my, my guy today, Derwin, you have a, a very specific goal set, right? And this is great. This is cool, guys. We, we deal with investors from all different spectrums, right? Like, Derwin, you are pre-approved to spend up to $60,000 with a mortgage, and you have $10,000 in cash to your name. Now, you know, if we're looking on the, the wealth spectrum, I would say you're probably on the lower end because on the higher end, guys, you know, we get clients that have two, three, four, five million dollars in the bank and they want to put that capital to use. So that's what's cool about real estate investing. You don't have to have 2.3, 2, 3, 4, 5, or whatever. You don't have to have that kind of money. You don't need 2 million, 3 million, 4 million, 5 million, right? You can get started like my man Derwin can with 10 grand to your name. You can absolutely get started. I'm going to show Derwin how to do it. Now, the first property I found for you, Derwin, is going to be this one right here. 3053 West 105th Cleveland, 44111. They listed this. Uh, the newest price is $38,500. they have had some price reductions. It's been on the market forever, dude. 162 days. They originally listed it uh, for a much higher price. Now, before we get too much into the details on the property, I want to talk to you about your goals and what you're trying to do, right? You purchased the 10 property package, which is our most popular package, and that's great, man. We're going to run the numbers, do a deep dive, talk about your wants, needs, and goals on 10 properties. Two of them are going to be today, this one included, obviously. Now, I just want to uh, talk about a few things, which, first of all, by the way, you actually found me through my coverage on uh, the, the stuff we did on the Clayton Morris, Morris Invest, those scams. If you guys haven't heard of that, uh, in the show notes below, we'll put some links to it. But what we do here <laughs> is totally different uh, than what those folks are doing is we provide complete transparency to what's possible and what's not possible, right? And the first thing that shout out to me, brother, is you said you're pre-approved for 60k, but you have 10k to work with as far as cash. Now I'm guessing maybe you got a pre-approval letter from a lender, and you are pre-approved for sixty thousand dollars. But I'm guessing that's for an owner-occupied purchase because on a non-owner-occupied purchase, people lenders they require 25% down in 99% of all cases, right? So that with your money down, your 10k down, that would max you out at forty thousand. I could be wrong on my assessment. Perhaps maybe you do have more money, uh, but you only want to use 10K. That's fine too. But again, they're going to make you put down 25%. So if you're only trying to utilize 10K, we're going to be capped at about a $40,000 property, unless you know something I don't. If that's the case, when we send you this video on the private link, please elaborate on that. Let me know. And if we need to shift gears on the next video, we will. But with the, that thought in mind, bro, I was thinking 10K cash to work with will go up to 40K as far as the property. And you wanted to do bursts. Now, Dude, you can't really do a burr with only $10,000, right? The whole thing with burrs, right? You're buying distressed properties. Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, and repeat. Well, you only have $10,000, dude. So you don't have enough money to buy something in cash, number one. Number two, you don't have enough money to do a ton of renovations to allow it to appraise for a higher price than what you bought it and the money you put into it, right? So I don't think a traditional burr is really going to be in the cards for you, right? Instead, you have to buy something in the $40,000 or less range and utilize your $10,000 as your down payment. Now, I tried to get as close as I possibly could 
uh, to giving you something that you could possibly burr in the future with this property. And that's why I found this one for you. Now, it is, like I said, been on the market forever. 38.5 is their price. And, dude, it, it don't look good. It don't look fresh. You know, all we got is some crummy photos of the outside, and nothing is looking spectacular on this particular property. It's just a ugly little rental dude it's just an ugly little duckling but i love this neighborhood this is a solid little c-class neighborhood dude we got hundreds of properties in this neighborhood and the cool thing is man you don't need to come in by cash and you don't need to spend money on a rehab even though it looks ugly and it's like you know low income and it's not that great it's got tenants in there dude they're already paying 675 so it brings in 8100 a year now of that 675 a reasonable expectation of expenses is going to be 381 a month leaving you at 294 now as far as price goes i still think 38.5 is too expensive dude it's first of all the tenant's paying way lower rent than they should right the market rent on this like we should be putting a section 8 tenant in this property for about a thousand bucks a month so that's holding the price down number one number two the fact that the house looks crummy all we have is just crummy dilapidated pictures and all we have is exterior pictures right you can't do a bunch of simple easy showings with an occupied property like this so people at least want to see the inside but the agent has been unable to provide us uh with interior pictures as far as what the agent said investment buyers only leased 675 a month until january 2021 tenant pays water and sewer seller liquidating add this fine money maker to your buyer's portfolio cash buyers preferred great location do not disturb tenants or walk on property without an appointment right so they're not letting they're not letting anybody go in the property we got crummy stuff they're advertising that they'd like to see cash buyers but i don't think we need to be a cash buyer dude it's been on the market for 163 days now if this just hit the market like 10 days ago i would say hey man derwin we're, we're trying to finance this dude i don't know if we want to bark up this tree but dude i, I think they got to be getting a little bit desperate at this point so with all that said dude i think we might be able to come in swoop this thing up for thirty thousand dollars financed now we don't have to put any money into it right now specifically. We already have a tenant in there. Now, obviously, we're going to get an inspection. If there's major safety concerns, we'll address those. But as far as, like, making it look better cosmetically or upgrading a kitchen or a bathroom, we ain't going to do that, dude. We're going to wait till the next natural turnover. When that happens, we'll want to do like probably a $20,000 reno. So this is going to give you time to start earning cash flow now and saving up for that eventual reno. Because we do like a $20,000 reno, then we'll be able to get a Section 8 tenant in there paying $1,000 a month. And at that time, it may make sense for you to do another refinance. Even though you financed it in the first place, we may possibly have pushed the value up into you know maybe the seventy thousand dollar range if we really bang out a very nice renovation get it section eight compliant put premium upgrades in the kitchen and the bath you may be able to turn this into a long burr you don't have to but you possibly could right but our goal is for you to be able to pick this up right now at thirty thousand with a loan Meaning you're only going to need to spend $7,500 on acquisition, which is great. Leaves you a nice little $2,500 cushion, right? Because, you know, you're, we're not working with a lot of funds here. The bank, they'll loan you the other twenty-two and a half, which is going to be a 32% ROI. Now, I have another property for you, slightly different strategy, but it's also going to fit within your, your budget and your upfront money. But before we get into that, we got to go to a quick word from the sponsors of today's show. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Good day, everyone. It's Angela Ramora here your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, 
Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. All right, Darren, welcome back. I already pulled the other one up on the screen for you. 6108 Gateway Boulevard, Elyria, 44035. Another solid C-class neighborhood, dude. 40 Gs is what they're asking, and this one just hit the market, man, about three weeks ago. And this one is nice, dude. A little two-bed, one-bather. And uh, this is a nice house, right? In my opinion, totally different than uh, what we're dealing with, right? The other one I thought was kind of crummy and run down. This one doesn't knock my socks off, but like it, it, it's 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 doable, it's workable. At one point, this was already Section 8 approved last time they had a tenant in there. You know, I don't think we really need to do much. It's not like exceptional. Again, not knocking my socks off, but it appears to to get her done, right? It is workable. Just cruising through these again. There's not that many, right? Like this kitchen, not the greatest kitchen in the world, but like, you know, dude, it could work. It can attract some Section 8 tenants, right? We're working with a relatively low budget out of you, right? So that's the other cool thing about this 10 property package, dude. You know, after you review this video, maybe we make a move on one of these two properties, right? And that you don't have to use those other eight properties anytime soon. What you need to do then is pick up one of these properties and then continue to save money. It might take you a year. It might take you two years. It might take you three or four years to get enough money to do the next deal. But that's okay, man. You don't have to do this all at once. It takes time to develop your real estate portfolio. Myself, I've been investing in real estate for over 10 years. I started when I was a young cat. I was 21. And dude, I was in the same boat as you, brother. I don't even know if I had 10K in cash in my pocket i didn't as a matter of fact i i could almost guarantee i didn't have anywhere near that much money dude i was managing a radio shack making like 30 grand a year right so i don't want you to get discouraged because you have a small budget right that's what's great about real estate can take guys like you guys like me that don't have a lot of money and it can allow you to climb that property ladder and get into different income brackets man uh so that's you know that's what we're gonna do right we're gonna try to get you one get you started but dude no pressure. We don't have to worry about them other eight, man. Let's pause. Now, if you don't like either of these deals and you want to shift gears, let's work on that. But don't think when you get the 10 property package that I'm trying to get you to get 10 properties today. No, 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 no. We got to start your portfolio. And depending on the amount of capital you guys have and the goals you have, man, that's going to determine the speed in which we continue to build this thing, right? It's a long-term game, dude. You know, real estate works great. When you're in this for the long run, I'm talking 30, 40 year careers, right? So all that said though, nice low property. I think we got to come in pretty hot. Like we can't try to low ball them like the last property, right? For there, we had reasons we could, you know, justify a low ball. Here, I think we got to come in close, right? I'm hoping I can get this thing picked up for you at 37. Now, two bed, one bath, looks pretty decent. We may have to spend... A couple bucks, uh, getting it totally Section 8 compliant. But when we do, I believe we'll be able to get a tenant in there at 850, right? We're dealing with a couple things to keep the rent a little bit low. Number one, we're only going to be able to get tenants with two bedroom vouchers. Number two, again, the property doesn't knock my socks off. Is it unusable? No. Is it what I'd consider a premium upgraded kitchen? No. But it, it's doable, right? It's doable for what we have. It's a good starting point. So 850 comes in and estimate of 421 goes out leaving us with an noi of 429 on average brother that's an average if you watch my shows i talk about this at length guys it ain't gonna look like this every month man this is an average right we got to deal with people here unlimited amount of variables when you're dealing with people but if it all pencils out how i'm anticipating our performance dude Again, you pick it up at 37, we rent it at a, a 50, that's about a 14 cap. We're still going to be under that 10K mark on your down payment. And that would pencil out to be an approximately 40% ROI if we get that tenant in there at 850. Now, again though, I want to stress this to you, bro. I'm anticipating, like on this chart, I didn't put any money for repairs. 
to get this Section 8 approved, which is what I think we want to do, we may need to do some repairs. So you may need to, you know, dig deep and, you know, find another thousand or two thousand dollars to to totally get us ready to go, totally get us over the finish line. But we're very, very close to your numbers here. And you know, my goal of picking it up at thirty seven, that's my goal. Like if you had to pay forty, I don't think that's a problem. Truth be told, if I was gonna pick one of these two properties, I would probably pick this one. I happen to like this one better. I think it's a nicer house. Uh, but the other one does kind of fall in line with your ultimate goal of eventually doing a burr. But you know, just know, like, we got a, a current tenant in there who's living in, you know, rough-looking conditions, so they may be a rough tenant. I'm not sure. Number one. Number two, you know, that house, we're talking CapEx stuff. We're thinking about CapEx. The house looks like it's been through, a, like, a war compared to this particular one. I think both of them have their benefits, though. Like, for instance, the comps on the Cleveland house, that neighborhood's going to have higher prices than this particular neighborhood. Um, so, you know, no deal is perfect, man. Every deal's going to have its pros and its cons. So, Durham, man, let us know your thoughts on this video. Let us know if I'm uh, correct in my assumptions. Maybe I'm off base on some things. That's fine. Let me know, and then we'll figure out a plan of attack going forward. Everybody else, man, if you like what we're doing here on Holton Wise TV and you want us to work with you in the same way, you just cruise on over to HoltonWise.com, click that property search for sale tab. I got two ways you can work with us, right? Option one, the investment properties for sale show. And you can work with us uh, on this show two ways. Number one, if you're a seller, you want to sell some real estate, you want it to be on our show, let us know. We'll sell that for you. Number two, if you're a buyer, you know what you want, you know what you're doing, you're already pre-approved, you're ready to rock, you just want to see our inventory Check out this show, video tours, analysis, the whole shebang. It's all on there. You can bid right off of the show. The second way to buy from us is through this show, the MLS Search Analysis Show. This is more of a hands-on experience like I'm doing with Derwin. I take your wants, your needs, your goals. I learn about you, and we work together over the long-term basis to personally build your portfolio, right? I'm working for you and for you alone. The properties I show you on this show are not the properties that my team has been hired to sell. They're not already in our management portfolio. So if you're one of those people that want the one-on-one -on -one experience, this is your show. If you're one of those people that kind of already knows what you're doing and you just want to buy inventory and make deals, you definitely want to check out the Investment Properties for Sales show. And also make sure you subscribe to our mailing list too because we do send that show out to you guys every day, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's all I got for today though. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Thiel, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. Reeb has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. Reeb is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate.
Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.